What's up everyone? Jimmy back here on the King Shaka Customs channel for another video um, here for you guys. Now, recently I just changed out my glow plug relay and my 7.3 power stroke. And it had me thinking, what really makes the old one fail? What does it look like? Um, so that's just what we're gonna figure out today. Um, we're gonna open this old relay up. We're gonna see actually what failed. Because if this relay is not in working condition, then the truck's not gonna have glow plugs working and it's gonna be very hard to start. And uh, just for this little tiny piece to not be working, um, to give such difficulty starting, I mean, I think it's worth to see what really fails inside. Um, and just spend a couple minutes here looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grind the rivets off on the back. I'm gonna throw it in the vise and just grind it off real quick. So you can actually see um, just what exactly fails on one of these uh, for what it is, because it's kind of annoying that if this doesn't work, then the truck won't start easily in the cold. Of course, you can jump the, uh, the two terminals here, but um, for such a crucial piece of starting the truck, I just, I think it's interesting to see what really does fail. And here's the part number for anybody who needs one of these. Um, definitely go with the Ford one, it'll last a lot longer than any of those aftermarket or Chinese ones. <clears throat> so there we go, let's get right to it and cut this open. So in short here, while I'm grinding this solenoid off, this back plate here, uh, I just wanna take a quick second here to describe roughly how a solenoid works. So basically, uh, as you can see in this picture, there's a coil here um, and when the current flows through it, you get an electric magnetic field. So basically it creates a magnetic force, uh, which drives something called the solenoid plunger, uh, which in effect makes that connection between those two big poles uh, that would actually go from the battery and the ma make a connection to your glow plug. So that's how this is working. Um, ideally, if it's working correctly, would be to take that current from the trigger and then use that through the coil to make that magnetic force that it needs. All right, I've never opened one of these before, so let's see what it looks like. It's your bottom plate, I guess. Looks like a rubber gasket here. Looks also like a little piece of cork right here. to get a screwdriver for this part. Yeah, let me do that. A piece of metal. I think I'm pretty sure I broke that wire, but hmm. piece of tape. So this is the actual coil for the trigger. And um, what this does would be basically pulling this magnet. You can see here is parts attached to the spring and that's what makes it go. So just for purpose, I'm gonna rip this off. So we can really see this magnet. Little retainer, collar, spring, and magnet. Um, so right off the bat, not really seeing anything wrong with this part. Um, like I said, this would be the piece that would spring and then connect between these two big poles you can see in there. So um, if I had to guess, I bet the, these um, coils, this wire wrapped in this coil here. I bet you this burns out. Um, if you ever owned anything else with like small engine, like a stator is kind of like this, um, they wear out. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing that's what's wrong with it. I don't really see anything else structurally wrong with it or anything burnt or, um, anything like that. You just see, just basically the various pieces. So if I had to guess, 
this probably burned out. And I'm sure there's a way to probably ohm this piece as well um, with a multimeter. But uh, like I said, never opened one of these before. So I just wanted to see what was inside and what goes wrong, um, which to me it's not apparent uh, what, what's really wrong with it. But if I had to guess, I, this coil um, probably does not make the magnetic force that it has to to pull that plate down to connect these two big poles. So pretty cool though to see the inside of it. I mean, I bet you could rebuild it um, if you just had this piece. Somebody could probably rebuild these easily, but um, for the price, I mean, it's just worth it to go buy a new one. So there you have it. All right, so I roughly put it back together here. I mean, once again, pretty cool to just see all the parts that make this thing go. Um, and to, to kind of understand what is driving your glow plugs uh, with this tiny little relay. I mean, I guess this isn't your traditional relay. This is more like a solenoid, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool to see what makes these seven threes start in the cold, so. Well guys, there you have it. I thought that would be a little cool video for some of you seven three guys out there. Um, I know myself very curious about that kind of stuff uh, when it comes to what makes these things actually go. It's kind of cool to see it from um, an engineering perspective to see physically how things work or whatever, electrically too. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please go down there and leave a like on today's video. And uh, if you're new, definitely hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more cool content. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And I uh, hope you guys have a safe one and a good one um, and enjoy the day. And I will see you guys in the next video.